Creating a Facebook Web Traffic Ad Hey there, everyone. Each one of the steps and strategies we've been showing you are the crust of proven Facebook marketing strategies. But if there's one thing you learned at the beginning of this training is that paying is a great way to accelerate your results. Now, the first page strategy we showed you was about promoting a page post to reach more people. But this time, we want to increase the stakes. This time, we're going to show you how to create an advertising campaign to send people from an ad on Facebook straight to your website. Getting started. Facebook has its own self-serve ad platform that lets you create ads with just a few clicks. To access it, all you have to do is visit the facebook.com slash ads manager slash creation URL while logged into your Facebook account. This will take you to the ads manager dashboard where you can set up your own campaigns like a professional advertiser. Are you ready to do it? Yes? Awesome. Let's get to it. Creating a Facebook traffic campaign. That URL will take you straight to the campaign creation page where you have to start by selecting the campaign objective. To send traffic from Facebook to your site or a landing page, you have to select traffic as your marketing objective. Once you select your objective, scroll down and enter the name of your new campaign into the campaign name field, then click on the set up ad account button. You will be asked to select your account country, your currency and your time zone. You can click on continue to finish setting up your ad account and moving to the campaign setup. Setting up the ad set. The next step is to set up the ad set. First, enter the name of this ad set into the ad set name field. Now select website as your traffic destination in the traffic section. Now move to the audience section. Here you are going to select your target locations first. Click on the edit button in the location section. Type the name of a location into the Add More Locations field and select the location from the results. Now you're going to click on the Edit button in Age to select the minimum and maximum age of your audience. Then you're going to repeat this step in the Gender section to select the gender or genders of your audience. Now click on the Edit button in the Detail Targeting section. Just like when you created the promoted page post, here you are going to enter a keyword that defines your audience and you are going to select an attribute to target from the results. Now move to the placement section. There are two placement configurations to choose from. Select automatic placements. If you want to show your ad to all types of users on all types of devices across multiple placements, including Instagram and the audience network, or select edit placements. If you want to select the placements and devices where to show your ads. Now move on to the budget and schedule section. The optimal configuration here for this type of campaign is to select daily budget as the budget strategy and to select run my ad set continuously starting today as the schedule. Then enter your ad spend into the budget field. This is the amount you'll spend daily in ads. Now enter the maximum you are willing to pay per each click on your ad into the cost control field. If you don't enter an amount here, Facebook will automatically bid in your behalf and you can end up spending more than you had planned. You can click on continue to move to the next step after you finish configuring everything on this page. Creating the ad and launching the campaign. Now it is time to create the ad creative. Start by entering the name of your ad into the ad name field. Now move to the identity section. Click on the Facebook page menu button and select the Facebook page of your business. Now you are going to select your ad format. There are three ad formats available, carousel, single image or video, and collection. Let's select single image or video to create an ad that is simple to customize. Now move to the media section to upload the image or video that you'll use in your ad. First, click on the add media menu button. For this example, we're going to click on add image to upload an image to the ad. Now move to the text and links section. Here you're going to add your ad copy, your ad title, and your destination URLs. Start by composing your ad copy into the primary text field. Next, compose an ad headline into the headline field. Now make sure that website is selected as the destination and enter your website's or landing page URL into the website URL field. Now, Click on the Call to Action menu button and select a Call to Action button to insert on your ad. There are several types of Call to Action buttons available that you can insert according to the offer or content in your destination URL. 
You can also select No button if you don't want to add a Call to Action button to your ad. Now that your ad is finished, check the preview window to see how your ad will look on different placements. Next, click on the Review button to review your campaign settings and click on Confirm to launch your campaign. Your ad will be reviewed by the ad approval team and will launch in around 5 to 15 minutes after you submit it. And that's it.